Hi guys, I want to show you running the Spark Shell and I need you to know that this is going to be a tool in your tool belt as they say. It's a great place to experiment. I don't expect you to follow all these examples, okay guys? I just want to show you what it's like so when you fire it up you know what to expect. While I was talking, I opened up another terminal window and I wanted to show you that in the directory from where I launched Spark Shell, there is a baby named CSV. We're going to go quickly here, but again, I'm just trying to show you what it's like to interact with the Spark Shell. I don't expect you to follow every example here. So a couple of things. One, you'll see that we have the Spark context available to us as SC. I'm going to use that here. Did you also notice that when I got a couple of characters through on SC, I, you maybe didn't, you, of course you didn't see it, but you maybe heard it that I was hitting the tab key. So you get file, you get completion here, which is also really nice. I'm going to load up this um, baby names CSV file. I have a new RDD. Let's just run an action on it to see how many rows are in this file. Over 35,000. Let's see what the first row looks like. Okay, so those are our column names. Let's remember that because we're going to use this in a bit. Let's create a new RDD, an array of strings, and we're going to split it by the comma here. Next, let's see how many distinct counties they are in this file. Okay, the array is zero index base. So year is zero, first name is one, county is two. That's what we are using here. We're going to map over every row. And then we're going to create a new collection here with this function. And we're going to do it of all the distinct values and then their count. So we see that there are 62 distinct counties in this data. Let's see if there's anything about popular names here. So for example, let's filter the data. You will be using this all the time. How many rows contain the word David? Again, one is the first name here. Guys, I know I'm going fast. I don't expect you to follow all this. We're going to cover all this in much more detail. Again, I just want to show you what you're capable of doing from this shell. So next I'm going to run a filter on David Rose. We're going to see um, of all the counties, how many times does David appear more than 10 times? What I want to highlight here is just chaining these functions together. Filter and map and distinct and count. This shell allows us to do this much like Scala in a very convenient way. So our answer is 17. There's 17 counties, distinct counties, that have David that appeared more than seven, excuse me, 10 times. So guys, that's it. This is real quick, but I wanted to show you running through this Spark shell. To exit, just hit Control-D. See you soon.